of exciting came in today. Um, AliExpress finally got some brush tip markers on offer and I ordered them a couple weeks ago using the AliExpress app because um, it has lower prices than the actual site and my package came in. It came in pretty fast. Um, so I got a couple of things, one of which I ordered, the other one I think is a bonus. Uh, the bonus is, um, it looks like turquoise jewelry was sent to me as a thank you. So that's cool. They look really cute. I like leaf motifs. And, um, I've already removed the exterior packaging of my markers, but, um, they were packaged pretty securely in some bubble wrap. Yeah, get them. Oh, all right. And I went ahead and I ordered the 48 pack. Okay. All right. So they come with a white gel pin. Um, it's a touch new GG in 08. And it looks like it has Korean written on it. And these come in a plastic case. They sort of look like some of the markers on the Conda site, if you guys check out my Conda review. Um, and it also came with a card, Peking Opera. Um, oh, how kind. They have a, a buyer checklist that asks if we left positive feedback. That's like, I love the detailed seller's rating score of five on all four criteria. That is nervy. They didn't even cite it. It says, you're sincerely blank. Thank you for buying my item. So, uh, yeah. All right. Okay. So, um, I will say their shipping was fast and it was fairly well packaged and my markers come in a nice hard plastic case with no explanation on how to get them open. <laughs> really? I want to break it, but I can't get it open. Now, most of my, you know what? I'm going to pause the video. Oh, I'm so dumb. There's a, there's a catch. I would have broken it. Okay. That's actually nicer than I thought it would be. I thought it was like a snap, so I was trying to snap it open, but no, there's a catch. Oh, it's very cute. Um, okay, so this is cool so far. I ordered the 48 color set. This looks fairly nice. There is nothing inside to hold them in place. These are what the markers look like. Um, let me grab a couple for comparison. So they're about the same size as a Copic Sketch, um, a little bit bigger than a Copic Chow, and the ends are marked. It's called Double Line, um, and it is indeed a brush tip. Go figure, and a chisel nib. My, my, my. I am impressed. I really, I really am, because I've been waiting for a seller on whoa <laughs> a seller on AliExpress to offer brush tips and this is like a pretty nice set I'd have to look up what I paid um so I'll be back in a minute okay so for those of you who would like to find these for yourself on AliExpress they are listed as high quality arts supplies chisel and brush dual twin tip brush art markers art graphic design marker pin set marcadores um, and it is the maggie stationery wholesale company that sells these and i paid 59.18 for the set which is a smidge a smidge over a dollar each but considering these are brush markers that's a pretty good deal so I'm going to go ahead and pull out some paper and we can get started testing. All right, so I pulled out those comparison markers again and I'll square this with the camera and pull in for you guys. So at the top is my high quality art supplies chisel and brush dual twin tip brush art markers art graphic design marker pen sets mac marcadores 
um, from Maggie Stationery Wholesale Supply Company on AliExpress. And um, you can see that the brush is a little bit shorter than the uh, two Copic options. And the chisel nib is a little bit bigger, but there's not a whole lot else that's different about it. So I'm going to go ahead and cap these and we can start investigating this guy. Let's start with the brush tip. So it's a little bit dry feeling, but not bad. It seems to be foam rubber, which is um, what the super tip brush are. And these may have been stored improperly, but I think if I store them horizontally for a while, they'll be a little bit better. All of the markers have their color name written on the cap. Sorry, my hand isn't actually bloody. That's a uh, red alcohol based ink from the other night. Um, and they don't have, oh yes, they do. Look, they have their name also on the barcode. And um, the website says genvana.com. I might have to check that out. So I'm going to do a quick, uh, this isn't the field test. I will be doing a field test, but I'm going to do, ooh, that purple goes down pretty smooth. That's a nice purple too. Like I don't think I have that color in my Copic collection. Oh, it smells like bananas. That's weird. So I'm going to spray some rubbing alcohol and we'll see if it affects it. It probably won't because, or it may not rather, because this is, um, this isn't really cardstock. It's cover stock and it's got a coating on it. I just, I grabbed the first, the first thing I had on hand is cover stock. So it is activating the alcohol in the marker. Let's quickly take a look at the free gel pen they sent me. Oh, okay, this works all right. So that's cool. They basically sent um, sort of like the artist, the Copic Artist Starter Kit, because most Copic artists use a jelly roll. I don't like jelly rolls. I like Signos, but it's still a white gel pen to do highlights. And it did not come with a blender marker. Although I am increasingly finding that AliExpress markers, um, you can you can get a blender marker for them. You just have to kind of buy it separately or request it. The case itself doesn't have anything to hold these markers in place. See? So if you care about the order, and they seem like they're in a pretty good order, um, so I'd like to keep them in this order. Uh, you know, need to be careful when you take them out. But the case does hold everything as long as everything's in place. It holds them all securely, snap shut. Honestly, this might be a really good solution for you convention artists who do Copic commissions and you don't want to bring your Copics with you because this was $59.18. Sometimes it goes on sale. You do have to wait a couple weeks for it to ship, but I think the shipping was free. Um, and AliExpress does coupons all the time. So this could be a really good alternative to bringing your precious Copics with you to conventions. Anyway, I'm really excited. I'm glad <laughs> I'm glad to see there's finally like a knockoff that uh, has a brush tip since I'm a big fan of the brush tip. And I will check in with you guys with a field test soon enough. Y'all have a good day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.